Hi, I'm Jill. And I'm Tara. We're from livingonadime.com. Where are we from? <laughs> <laughs> yes, livingonadime.com. Uh, okay, so today we are talking about packing food for road trips. Mm -hmm. You know, like when you're going to grandma's house or Disney World, which is not frugal. Mm -hmm. If you're not paying cash, mm -hmm. you better be paying for cash for these vacations. But if you are and you want to save some money we have some tips on how to pack for your road trip pack yeah pack food up for your mm -hmm. road trip and the thing is so many people go out to eat all the time on a daily basis that if you pack food for a road trip it's almost like a fun thing for the kids because yeah. they're not used to that type of thing they're used to going out mm -hmm. to eat all the time so this is sort of novel whenever you um, uh, pack food for a uh, road trip and one thing too you don't have to pack food for the whole trip and make it really complicated and hard. We're not talking two weeks worth of food No, here. no. But you can do things like um, maybe sl everybody sleeps in. If you can sleep in on your vacation, then go and have breakfast, which is a less expensive meal, out to eat. Or and at then, the hotel for free. Yeah. yeah. And, and then have food for lunch that you've bought yourself and then maybe go to dinner. So you're doing half and half. Part of the meals, you know, you've brought yourself or paid, made yourself, and then eat out. What Kind of go with the vacation you're taking, but don't just do. think you have to spend all this money on food and go out to eat every single time. Yeah, because it could easily, for our family of seven, we could easily spend $150 a day just eating out like at Wendy's or McDonald's. Yeah, even, and really. they have really nice convenient foods now. Years mm -hmm. ago when we first started doing this, oh, yeah. it was like a major thing. But mm -hmm. they have such convenient foods, you know, like chips in a can and squeeze bottle peanut butter. And one, one of the tips we're going to give too is it may cost more to take a thing of peanut butter that you can squeeze out of the tube. But you're still saving if you, mm -hmm. compared to what if you've yeah. gone out to eat. You're not eat. getting a knife dirty, and you can still have a peanut butter and jelly sandwich if the kids want. It's still easy, <laughs> convenient to make, but yet you're saving quite a bit mm -hmm. over going yeah. out to eat. So. so some general tips that we have is on road trips, when kids start whining and fussing, it's one of two reasons. They're either tired or hungry. You can at least take care of the hunger part. Um, and With a few different small yeah, snacks. Yeah, with just a few things. So... If you have room, have each family member have their own little lunchbox with all the little fun things in there that they like. And for us, we do go to the store and let the kids pick out what they want to eat on the trip. Special this treats. is the time when we buy the Pringles. This is the time when we buy the gummy and fruit snacks. I mm -hmm. don't buy those for Snack my kids. Snack crackers yeah. and stuff. Mm -hmm. Snack crackers. Um, little juice bottles. Yeah, little yogurt strip. The yogurt, uh, uh, what do you call it? The Fruit roll-ups. Yeah, fruit roll-ups. and Yogurt the, tubes. Yeah, yogurt, yogurt tubes and um, those kinds of things. So this is when we splurge because we don't normally buy those kinds of things and be sure to take as a general thing extra napkins forks plastic forks spoons knives the little packets you know we all get those little packets of ketchup and mustard and salt and pepper things and that you need the extra i keep a just one container that i put mm -hmm. all that type of just stuff put them in, in a zip top bag mm -hmm. they're really easy to put in there yeah um now of course if money's tight you don't have to do really fancy things either um, well, I remember when we were young, and I remember, you know this was cool to me at the time, we used to go, we couldn't, do, couldn't hardly afford anything, and we would go on a trip, and we'd stop at a little grocery store, and we'd get a, a loaf of bread, a thing mm -hmm. of bologna, a bag of chips, and then we'd have a can of pop that we'd pick out of the pop machine. And that was our lunch or our dinner. And that was, I have those memories today. I don't remember us going to a fancy restaurant. And it doesn't. You are still alive. And I'm after still alive. Eating after eating bologna. Really? And chips with lots of oil. <laughs> so, you know, it, you don't have to put a lot of expense even on the meals that you're no. taking with you for, you know, stuff. And you can stuff. do things like they have little car heaters for mm -hmm. water. My grandmother, you, my grandparents used to come to Kansas from Colorado to visit us every, literally, three months, four months, a, you know, three to four times a year. And she always kept this little tiny heater, um, and it's just a little, like, coffee, um, coffee, what do you, uh, what do you call it? 
a water heater. It's a coffee mug. It looks like a gigantic coffee mug. Yeah, it's mug. like a gigantic coffee mug, and you just pour your water in there, and mm -hmm. it heats it up. So she would make, she would bring oatmeal, yeah. mm -hmm. and pour the hot water in there, and you just eat it on the way. When we were little kids coming She'd back and forth. She'd make herself coffee. And you could make tea with that cocoa, hot water. Cocoa, you know. Cocoa. You could, um, if you had hot dogs, you could pour the hot water over hot dogs and warm them up. What you know, she did for thing. hot dogs a lot is she would take a thermos jug sometimes and stick the hot dogs in the thermos jug, pour boiling water on the hot dogs, screw on the lid, take it with us. Well, then by noon, they were perfectly cooked yeah. and really good. But some of the ideas we have for breakfast is you can do all kinds of things, like you can take muffins. Uh, they're easy to toss in and take. Some homemade banana bread or apple bread. And, and the packages of honey buns, like you yeah. can get the little Debbie mm -hmm. honey buns, those types of things. Yeah. Oh, and what I loved was the little individual, they're more expensive, but the little individual cereals, we mm -hmm. cut them open and pour a little our milk mm -hmm. in there, hard boiled eggs, that type of thing. And then for lunch, Oh. oh, and don't forget like yogurt. Yeah, you can um, do yogurt. And uh, bagels with cream cheese or jam. Mm -hmm. And people, this is a vacation. Don't oh, email yeah. me saying how unhealthy <laughs> this food is. It is not that unhealthy. A hot dog now and then is not going to kill you. Um, but this is fun, and it's mm -hmm. a vacation, and it's a treat. So if you eat but, healthy, you know... You know if you if you personally want, don't get a hot dog. You can take the yogurt or something else that yeah. you pr just substitute across. Don't make it complicated. Say, well, I can't eat that or I can't eat that. Well, then use your brain and think. Let's think. Uh, we don't eat hot dogs, but we do eat blah, you know, blah, blah. You yeah, know? natural ham or yeah, whatever. Yeah, and so. just substitute across. Don't holler about what you yeah. can't use. Think about what you can substitute. Start thinking about what can I use. Yeah. So, But for lunch and dinner... Oh, we've talked about the hot dogs, but you could also take sliced ham, you know, and make sandwiches. You can make up hoagies ahead of time. Put whatever you want on your hoagies, wrap them up. And, and a trick on that is, first of all, use hoagie buns instead of regular plain bread because they stand up better and they don't crush as easily. But also, put your cheese and meat facing the bun and put your condiments your mustard mayo ketchup on the inside between and then your buns between won't the cheese get soggy and the ham or whatever yeah. mm -hmm. and then your buns won't get soggy um also uh you could take fruits and vegetables with you but i would do the carrot sticks up ahead of time yeah, celery, so have it in baggies ready to go and take vegetable or fruits that are easy uh, take Grapes. probably apples instead of oranges because and slice the apples peel, ahead of time. You have to peel the oranges mm -hmm. and do all that, and then you have the orange peel to mess yeah. with. And we oh. just slice apples and put them in a little salt water or lemon water ahead of time, and then drain it be right before we leave and put it in little zip top bags. And of course, cookies, brownies, <laughs> you can get a lot of those packaged now, you know, at, yeah. for convenience sake, little packages of crackers, mm -hmm. all these. You just start looking around, you'd be amazed at how many yeah. things you can find. And of course, always you can always have your pop. For my kids, this is when I buy the Capri Sun mm -hmm. because we don't drink this on an everyday basis. My kids get it about twice a year. Um, well, you know, when I go on a trip and take the grandkids with me, I take bottles, uh, plastic bottles, and freeze lemonade in it. I just freeze them about halfway up with lemonade, and then the morning before I leave, I pour more lemonade to top it off. And we do the same with water. We'll freeze. <clears throat> excuse me, put our bottle of water in the freezer, freeze about this much, and then fill the rest with water, with water. and it stays cold the whole and time. And another thing about freezing your water is you can put it in your, with your sandwiches and stuff to keep it cold, you yeah. know, and then you've still got extra water. Yeah. If you and, need. you know, after, what, 65 years of doing this, mom is still here. I don't think frozen plastic is going to do anything to you. I'll be quite <laughs> frank. I am not worried about that. But if you are then just use your glass bottle or whatever it is you use and put your ice cubes in there or freeze lemonade in an ice cube tray and do it that way. So mm -hmm. you just use the alternative to what you'd prefer. And in the winter, think about taking hot chocolate in thermos jugs. Yeah. Think about taking soup. I mm -hmm. took soup this last tri winter trip and it was so good. Tomato juice yeah. in it, it was really good. So just start, you know, trying and experimenting with different yeah. things. And you can, you know, fill up at, on your trip for the first half of your trip, let's say you get two to three days worth of food. Then, as you're on the road, when you're coming home, just go to a grocery store and pick up the rest. Yeah. You don't have to Restock. carry it all with you all the time. Exactly. So, 
So those are a few tips on packing food for road trips. We hope they gave you some ideas for your vacation and hope you have a good vacation. If you like this video, be sure to subscribe, like, share, and comment below.